So the next one we want to get into is these guys here, which is the tangent types, break tangents, unified tangents, free tangents, and log tangent weight. These are really easy, especially this first couple. So we just select a keyframe and we can actually now break that. So that will turn each side of the tangent handle a different color. And as I said before, we can just drag a box through the middle of that tangent handle to grab it. And now we can middle click drag and that has broken that tangent. So if you want to sort of like do a linear or a really strong bouncing ball or something like that, you can really do whatever you want with those curves there. Now to unify them, we just click on that guy back there. That will unify them again. If you want to join them so that they're, you know, perfectly aligned again, you can use any of these guys over here. So we can just do spline with them both selected spline. That will just get them back to normal again. So now we've got our normal tangent types again. So again, break tangent type is there. Unify tangents, we'll continue to move them together again. And then just to reset them, we have to select the key and then just reset them to whatever tangent type you want. Moving across now, we've got this free tangent weight and log tangent weight. And this is a little bit more tricky because when we go to select it and we actually want to free the tangent weights, it'll give us this error. All the animation curves are non-weighted, unable to change the weight lock state. Now, this is an important one because there's two types of curves that Maya uses. It uses weighted curves and non-weighted curves. And by default, all curves are non-weighted. And you can see this here too. If we come up here into animation, by default, we have non-weighted tangents. That button is not on when we're creating curves. If you have that button on it will be the other mode now to select it after the fact it's quite easy we come into curves right down the bottom we need to go weighted tangents and switch that over now that will potentially change the way that Maya does its curves and you can sort of see this a lot of times when these curves get sort of close together it starts messing them up whereas if we are in the non-weighted tangent mode, everything looks a bit nicer as you get those curves coming closer. Everything sorts itself out. So it is kind of better to use the non-weighted tangents as a default. It just has a different algorithm for calculating the curve types. But if we do switch it over, to weighted tangents, we now have the ability to click this button and free the tangent weights. And once we do, you'll notice that those little squares go either side. So just to make this clear as well, if we go back to curves, non-weighted tangents. Non-weighted tangents always have these little tiny squares on the end. That's how we can recognize them. If we switch across to weighted tangents and by default, if we don't have free on, if we've locked them, there'll be these little round balls that are sort of solid. And then if we select one of the curves there and unlock it, it will become these little hollow squares. So there's three different types that we can use there. Now what we can do is we can bring them together and forwards. And, and this gives us the full range along with the fact that we can actually break them we can now do whatever we want with those curves. So in order to do that, again, just go to curves, weighted tangents, and then that'll free us up and we can start to use these modes. Of course, selecting that curve again and now locking them again, we'll now keep them so that they stay put and we can lock them that way like that. And to get them back to normal ones, we can click there again. Reminded if we shift select them, you can select both sides or you can just select the middle key and that will do it as well. Really handy one there just to be able to do that. Select that and be able to make those bigger and smaller. You can also, by the way, if they are broken, it can be kind of annoying because you want just one to go, but they can easily break apart. You hold shift, that will bring that in and out nicely. So shift is a really nice one for that. So we can do that, lock it again, lock that one, bring it around, something like that. Unlock it again, break it. And then you've got that sort of ability, full control over your function curves, lock and unify and we're off again.